19 is your local election headquarters and our team has been working to make sure you understand the amendments you're going to see on the ballot before you go to the polls Tuesday. Believe it or not, there are 10 of them and sometimes the legislative language can be a little overwhelming when you're at the polls reading your ballot. So we're making it easy for you. News 19 investigative reporter Dallas Parker joining us now in the studio with a breakdown of amendment number three. Yeah, there's a total of 10 amendments, like you said, Jerry, you'll see on the ballot Tuesday. We've covered amendments one and two, and now we're talking number three. Now, this one would change the procedure the governor and the attorney general go through before someone can be commuted from a prison sentence or temporarily stayed from execution. Amendment three would require the governor to provide notice to the attorney general and make efforts to notify a designated family member of a victim before granting a commutation or temporary stay of execution of a death sentence. The attorney Attorney General would be required to provide a mailing address, email address, and phone number to the governor for the purposes of contacting that victim's family. The amendment says failing to provide notice would void the commutation of the death sentence or stay of execution, though the Attorney General and the Alabama Supreme Court could seek a new execution order. Now, currently, Governor Ivey has the power to postpone or reduce a death sentence to life in prison. Amendment 3 will require that she notify the Attorney General and the victim's family before making that final call. However, the amendment it does not describe what happens if the governor can't get in contact with that family, nor does it say the family members have a say in the governor's final decision, just that she makes an effort to get in touch. Again, Amendment 3 is just one of those 10 amendments coming up on News 19 at 5. News 19 Chief Investigative Reporter Brian Lawson will break down Amendments 4 and 5. Jerry.